Ooh, all right, we got back there. Um, before we watch this video, a disclaimer. Not that yesterday, uh, long story short, me and my girlfriend are somewhere. So, we are going to go a little, a little too uh, intense today. I might not be able to hear so many talking sets in, and I might just be doing the wait, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'll try to talk as much as I can, but now I kind of have to just get in my feels about everything that happened, you know, and this is, this is talking. So basically, we are going to just go heavy today, and we're going to push past our limits. And we are going to see how much weight a breakup adds. So, we're going to see how crazy I can get. And don't, don't tell me. I already know I'm in Crocs. I don't want to hear it. Even with the Crocs on. we us still about to throw some shit in the air. You already know. You know? Pretty crazy. <laughs> um, scientifically, Gavin Jimmert says he needs some of that forbidden free. <laughs> the weight is feeling, let's just say the word different today. You know? Uh, yesterday's video was too long, so regardless, I am. I'm gonna try to keep minimalistic talking. So, yeah. Let's see how uh, this weight goes. Now, I actually never hit this weight with this. I usually just do reps. So, uh, wish me luck. No music. I'll try to get a recording if I can. Of me doing it with the music. Let's hit it. <laughs> uh, I can confirm a breakup makes me stronger. Yeah, yeah, that is uh quite factual. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna get a few more sets in with this weight and go into other stuff, and we're gonna get those heavy ass weights. All right. The forbidden pre's starting to hit in, and we got that pull down. We're gonna see if we can get uh that PR. Just doing more weight than normal. So let's see what happens. Is this on the right one? That's good. That's good. That's real good. We were doing the body fat percentage in wrestling, and they pinched my arms and they said four. So about my arms are about a four percent body fat, which is crazy. <laughs> All right, enough talking. Enough yapping. Let's hit the set. Why is it all feeling easy? I feel Tom Platt's now. Oh my. So, we're gonna have to go to the weight I used to hit 150. And then, after we hit 150, the next jump is 170. So, if we do go to 170, 20 pound increase. But, we have the forbidden free. So, we'll see. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that felt pretty easy, so I feel pretty confident about it. Let's see how 150 moves. If I am going to go higher weight, I don't think I should do as many reps. I just burn out, so. I'd do like five. You know. Nothing crazy. But nothing like. Nothing that's really easy. So. 
course the eye does. This is crazy. I kinda, I kinda want to feel this heartache every single day of my life. Like, it's weird. <laughs> that sounds like retarded, you know, to say. But I want to feel like this every single day. <laughs> like one, like I want to improve every day. But this is a different type of improvement. You know. Oh well. We'll see where this this pre ends up going with me. See how exact I get. But wrestling season is starting, and everyone made the team because we don't have a lot of people down here in North Carolina for wrestling. So, uh, yeah, practices are gonna work with my schedule though. So don't worry. You're gonna see those fun photos. <laughs> But, uh, I'll see if I can get any videos of wrestling. I doubt it. I rarely can. But, I'll try to talk as much as I can. It's just, uh, it's hard. You know? Hard to talk and think about that at the same time. It's weird, but, uh, enough talking. Let's get to the rest of the workout. But, I was doing pretty good. Enough of this. That's uh forbidden pre workout shit. You know. Doesn't matter. There there's no reason. I mean absolutely no reason that people should seek out revenge. You know. There's no reason. You know, it happened to happen. You know. I know one thing is that is right now. I'm not where I want to be, but I know I'm on the path to be there. I know that one day I'm going to get to that point in my life where I'm happy and satisfied, but that's not right now. You have to work to get it, and that's what I'm doing. I'm here basically every day, working, trying to be the best person I can be, you know? Enough with this villain arc, enough with this revenge. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. We should find peace in ourselves, you know, and I feel like that's what truly matters. Damn, I sound like I went through some villain arc shit and I have no enemies in the same exact damn day, not even an hour. Well, I am, I'm weird, but regardless, let's get back on track. We're doing barbell rows. I already did it with a 25 and I already did it once with this. It's feeling pretty good. Regardless, we are still going to go heavy today. We're going to keep that same going for a while, you know, because it's time to become the best person I can be and staying at the same weight is not going to do that. I'm going to have to advance, you know, I'm going to have to keep trying and growing to do that. So let's get into this damn set and let's make it one hell of a good one. Oh, that was good. That was a good set. Oof. Oh my. <laughs> I felt that. Uh, uh, yeah. No more villain arc. We're gonna go on a peace, peace arc and try to find myself in this journey called life. Yeah, that sounds like the best thing right now for me. Gotta find myself. But, we got like two more workouts we gotta do. So let's hit it.
I know, I know, calm down, calm down. I don't want to hear it. I know it's a different spot. But we do not want to be disturbing the other people. So we're going to go here. Um, looking really good today. Uh, I'm kind of glad I came to the realization that I shouldn't be really going on a villain arc. I should really be trying to find myself in peace and um, what I'm doing, you know, and find the place that I truly uh, think I should be. And I feel like everyone should try to strive and do that. But let's get these pump photos done real quick. Because I feel unaccurate. <sighs> Why does that, why do I feel like that was the craziest back pump ever? Oh my god. That is crazy. No, no wonder that was a 4% body fat. I'm not so good at that spread, but, um, back pumps I'm alright with, <laughs> but it was a very good workout. Tomorrow we got leg day, and we have no wrestling to affect the leg day, so it is going to be really good with that, because uh, then I'm going to have no excuses, and I'm going to be able to go to tents, and I won't be fatigued from the workouts I had before, but you already know what time it is. We got a little under workout stuff going on, so we got Jim Molly after party, and if you don't feel too committed in buying it, you can use code Gavin for 20% off, and even then, you can uh, help over to one of your favorite GNCs and get one of the cans, because I do have the after party can also, on top of the, pre the energy drink for the pre-workout. So if you're not too committed on it yet, um, go to your GNC, try out the before and after workout, and it really does work wonders. I've not been sore from any workouts so far, and it's just been amazing. And we got the creatine, and I know it might not be monohydrate, but all your parents are going to be like, oh, it's not studied as well. It works better, in my opinion, and I've been showing actual improvement with it, and uh, I recommend going on creatine. It is not a substance that is like trend or anything like that. It is a natural substance. If you take it, you're still going to be natural. All it does is help with your muscle growth. It's like getting a protein shake, but way more effective and is way more better for the body. It can also help with memory. So uh, actually it's shown an improvement in school also after taking creatine. So that's good for me. <laughs> but um, even if you're like not even in the gym, you can still take it. I mean, it's probably not worth it, but um, getting your protein in is a pretty necessary thing, even if you're not into the gym. You should always try to get your vegetables in, you know, your greens and everything. Let's take a little sip. That's good. Even with the creatine, it's still consistent flavor. And I think that's just a way easier way to take it down. Usually I do dry scoop, that works. Um, you can put it in smoothies, you can put it in clean water, and just uh, drink it down like that. You can put it in your pre-workout even, I've seen people do. You can really do anything with it. It just depends on what way you feel like is the best, or the way that you feel like is the best to take it down, really. I feel like if I take both at the same time, two birds, one stone, and after party has the BCAA in it, which helps with your muscle growth and recovery, and that also does help when you're sleeping and everything like that. Now there are supplements that are primarily meant for sleep. Like, um, I don't know the exact brands, but there are brands that helps you with sleep and not only sleep, but it's also like a recovery supplement. It has BCA in it, but it's not gonna like wake you up, it's not stim or any of that. Which, they're pretty interesting. I don't, the flavors are gonna be the best. I had like a sample pack and it was great and it tasted like medicine. So, I mean, the taste might not be the best, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, you got to get it in one way or another. And honestly, it did help my sleep, so may maybe I'll get it and do like a little review on it. Who knows? But all I know is I got my Gym Molly, Code Gavin, 20% off. It was a good workout. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.